The Radio Great Twelves, this is the hot takes right after you all finish your Great Twelve November 2024 exam. And oh man, I can't wait to get my hands on this paper and actually page through it with you. I have not yet opened it. I've kept it just for this video as we look at it again for the second time. Of course, you guys for the second time. I do want to say in the post section on my channel there is just now published a survey please take a moment if you're watching this video also take a moment to submit that survey especially of course if you've written the grade 12 paper uh, that will be reported to the department of education to get your insights your feedback your feelings on this paper but i do want to ask will you not in the comments below also please share with me your own thoughts on this paper one of november 2024 i really want to hear what you have to say and of course let's get going straight in with the very first hot takes on paper one egd for the 2024 year now of course the front cover that is exactly what you expected here 200 marks and three hour paper let's have a look at the civil analytics all right first time looking at it um all right this looks like a proposed new lodge deck and carport for mr brett so this of course no surprise here a brand new site plan that they've given here um and it is a lodge so very interesting a lot of information here i really hope you took the time to study this as well as the land surveyor uh, details here the symbols and all of this information was very important and then it looks to me like this might have been some a challenge for some of you if it comes to area calculation just because of the difference different shape here first time i'm seeing an angular angle here but in general uh it looks to me all right there they ask for electrical switch dimmer that's interesting and a bidet that's a common one that's asked a lot of times so this analytical we're going to try and rate this paper in the end is did it smack you uh, or was it a awesome paper that you happy with or uh, was it a fair paper so we're going to in the end get together and see which of these count i would say this one is quite fair it looks to be a good order um but a lot of information so it could have taken a lot of time for you to just orientate yourself in this one if we jump to the next one i was wondering whether they would ask the interpenetration of the solid and this is a surprise to me. It is a solid geometry. Let's look at the uh, what was given here. Let me just zoom in a little bit for you on this actual question. I think as you guys look uh, for the second time at this paper, I'm confident that you're going to like, ah, I, I knew it. I might have, um, some of you might have missed some things. But let's look at what is given here. It says uh, the front view, which is, of course, this one of a right regular hexagonal pyramid so here it is we're seeing in the front view the two sides these two and um, a right square prism so there it is on its side um, it's actually just standing on that bottom corner um, the top view of a right regular hexagonal so there's a top view of that and the, um, with the axis and auxiliary view for okay what's interesting here this axis is in line with the axis of the hexagonal pyramid so that is actually um nice to see straight line there there's a cutting plane at 45 degrees and so the challenge would have been here to, to, to just get that started i'm interested to know how you did start this drawing um of course i don't have a memo at this time but um you were had to do a front view section top view six lever I've seen much more complicated solids than this. This is really should have been something that all of you could have done. This top view here, it's going to just have this top edge cut off. Um, almost just a part of it, if you think of it there. And the angle there would have been important. You've still, if you looked from the top, your top view would have still seen this surface. You would have seen this on the side and on the back. Of course, these two at the bottom would have been hidden. And then here, a lot of that would have been taken away and you would have just seen a um, small part here uh, of that pyramid okay not able to draw it for you in this video it's just my first impressions let's look at the two-point perspective i'm gonna have to zoom out a little bit here to see um tabonia asking matrix we're writing egd yes the matrix wrote egd today paper one 
and um, I'm just doing a quick talk through the paper what I also see for the first time. Okay, this is quite a complex two-point perspective at my first glance. I'm seeing a lot of different lines. I'm seeing again, like they did last year, a single roof line, which threw a lot of learners because you're traditionally looking for depth in those roof lines or fascia boards, something like that. So here, just a single roof line. Um, also, the arc that we've expected, that's in there. So a good high standard question. I think if I look here, we've got some foundation pillars, those four there for this two-point perspective. So it might have been a bit of a challenge for kids to comprehend that in the end, but I think if you would have started this, of course, from the SP um, at that angle up, so your right vanishing point would have been around about here. Your left vanishing point should have been around about here. And so if you got that maybe wrong, that would have influenced your whole drawing and maybe your confidence as well. But marks for the arc uh, was about five out of the 40, so about eight of all the marks. The roof, seven marks. So a lot of marks went for your floors and your initial heights, getting that right. Um, but again, yeah, I think this might have been a challenge for a lot of learners just because of the three views and a lot of details here. But if you've practiced two-point perspective, this shouldn't have been a problem to you. All right, let's have a look at the civil analytics. So far, I'm very excited for this paper. Um, so just the civil analytics, again, this is expected. It's going to ask the elevations, uh, the floor plan, and the sectional elevation. Let me just see if there's anything funny here that I haven't seen before. Um, it looks straightforward for me. And then here on our floor plan, yeah, this is just a regular floor plan. If we think of the sectional elevation, um, I'm looking in the direction of the arrow, so you're writing and looking in this direction. And so when we did this sectional elevation, you would have had your foundation. And on the left hand side, you would have seen this door here. I don't know how many of you remember to put in that doorway there. Um, and of course, you would have also seen this overhang here uh, of that roof line right up on the top if you've drawn the roof. Um, so you would have seen the roof section but you would have still seen that roof. And because there's a slope here, you would have seen a gutter. So I hope you remember that gutter. I hope you remember that roof. Um, so I didn't look at this porch here, patio part. That's also going to be visible here. All right, so now we've got some Taboni saying the two-point perspective was tough. Oh, cool. I'm still in the exam. Well, that's a problem. Uh, you shouldn't be watching this video. All right, here we go. Well, that's um, all the way through. Uh, now let's think uh, of the actual rating of this paper. Uh, we've got three choices here. And I love it again in the comments. You're the guys that wrote it and ladies that wrote it. So please, I want to have your feedback. We have a real, ah man, this paper smacked me. It was tough. We have a fair, a good job. I'm happy with it and uh, very happy, easy peasy. Now I did ask my learners just as they walked out past my office and um, they were actually quite excited for this paper, but I did have a couple of them that said they didn't finish in time. So they were definitely not unhappy, so we can eliminate that one. Um, time was a bit of an issue, and that was specific with a two-point perspective um, and that analytical that I think took a bit more time than they expected just because of those questions. And so although they were very happy, I would say this would be a very fair um, representation of that actual paper. If I would ask my own learners, they've got the tongue in the cheek, happy chappy. I wonder what's your say and of course your formal say. I'd like to hear that uh, via the survey. So make sure you head over to the post uh, section of my channel and we will do this for paper two as well. Um, this has been a great experience. Please head over also to the EGD masterclass list especially if you, are, you struggled with this paper one and you want to be ready for paper two, then the EGD Masterclass playlist on the How to EGD channel is going to be the one to go to in preparing you for your finals. I'll be adding a couple of more important videos on that channel or on that playlist for you guys that is subscribing. All right, so I got a lot of thanks here. I've got a couple of, I smacked it, uh, EGD Happy from Daily Daddies. Daily also saying thank you. 
Uh, and so this is it. I'm signing out. This was the hot takes for EGD, paper 1, November 2024. Head on over right now to the post section and formally let us hear your comments also via the survey that's going straight to the Department of Education. Thank you all how to EGD students. Love you and I champion you to smack also paper 2. Cheers.